the ancient sources agree that we're approaching a singularity. What is a singularity? A singularity is also called an asymptote. For example, in our graphs, we had a curve that starts out like this and then suddenly goes Energy states don't just change smoothly like this. They change in steps. The curve is just an approximation. In real life, things change quickly. You have a stable state here. Then something will come along that pushes the system to a higher state. And the whole thing will flip just like that. That's what's happening with the weather. The weather on our planet has been the same for a long time, thousands of years. But just in the last few years, all of a sudden it started changing. Well, what really happened is, it has been changing all along, but the rate of change is very slow. Because the, um, the amount of energy in the system is comparatively low. As the amount of energy in the system increases, the changes become more and more violent, but just as sudden. So a change that would take 100 years to happen at this energy level happens in just 10 years at this energy level. And way up here, it will happen in a few days. As we approach the asymptote, when the curve begins to noticeably uh, change very fast, up until that time is still part of the same curve. The same laws are at work. But because the energy level is increasing, the changes happen faster and faster. And then they approach infinity. Infinity is the singularity. For example, a black hole is called a singularity. Gravity has become so strong that even light cannot escape. Normally, light is free to go everywhere. But because the black hole actually captures the light, it's called a singularity. And as far as light is concerned, it's an infinite sink of energy. So similarly, in time, we are now at the asymptote of the curve. And we are headed towards a singularity of change. It's only going to last a very short time, just a few weeks or months. But we are going to be in a situation where change will be, for all practical purposes, infinite. I've done the astrology, and it's, it's really scary. <laughs> Because we only have this situation every 27,000 years. Nobody remembers what happened the last time, except the Vedas. What is the story that the Vedas tell? The Vedic civilization has existed since the time of Satya Yuga. So for all this time, they had a virtually unbroken chain. 5,000 years ago, something happened that interrupted that civilization. What happened? In the changing from Adwarpa to Kali Yuga, they lost their technology. They had a technology which was based on mantras and on intelligent use of uh, living systems. So they had things like smart weapons, things similar to computers or robots. 
and sources of energy that were far more advanced than our civilization. But literally overnight, this all disappeared. There was a huge war. And in this war, called the Battle of Kurukshetra, all the kings were killed. The people who knew how to operate their society, how to manage their civilization, all of them were killed. When Krishna left this planet 5,000 years ago, overnight, all their technology stopped working. So this was a disaster that was unprecedented in the previous, I don't know, millions of years. Because they didn't have their technology anymore, their whole empire fell apart, and the world, instead of being under one king, one empire, became broken up into many different nations, each with its own language, own customs, own religion. Uh, so you can see this was the same confusion of tongues talked about in the story of the Bab Tower of Babel. Those people thought it was a local situation because they were no longer in touch with the rest of the world. But actually it was something that happened to the whole planet. It was a global catastrophe 5,000 years ago. The Dark Ages didn't start with the fall of Rome. The Dark Ages started with the fall of the Vedic Empire 3,000 years earlier. This planet was part of the network uh, which was governed by the demigods. Since 5,000 years ago, this planet has been ruled by the demons. That's why everything's so messed up. Spiritual language was made a secret. Because the demons don't like that. They want to keep all the knowledge for themselves. Uh, the demons have a lot of spiritual knowledge. But they're selfish. They want to exploit people. Just look at the world. How it's being managed. How it's being run. Who is in control? The most powerful people. Uh, they're very demoniac. And because of their example, the whole world is being led astray, away from God. But that's about to change, along with everything else. <laughs> Everything's going to change, including that the earth will now go back to the demigods. So some people ask, well, is there going to be a disaster? Um, is, uh, you know, are a lot of people going to be hurt or die or something? So my answer is, well, how do you define a disaster? What is a disaster? Isn't it when everything changes too fast? whether it's the weather or politics or economics or whatever it is. In other words, what's, what's going to happen when change gets, becomes almost infinite? Everything that can change will change. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya